Hi, this is a video concerning nozzle replacement. I'll show you how to replace a nozzle on any of the CraftBot printers. Uh, you're gonna need a few things to do that. Uh, a wrench. On older models, we used a seven millimeter size. We've since converted to eight millimeters. Uh, this is a wrench just that we give out with our nozzle set. Uh, this is a set of four nozzles that you can buy from our web shop. It also comes with the CraftBot XL free of charge. Some other parts I have here uh, you're gonna have to use. If you wanna take the fan assembly off, the Allen wrench set, uh, you don't necessarily have to take the fan assembly off, but it gives you a better view. It gives you a little more room to work with. Uh, I'm gonna do it just, to, just for the heck of it, just to show you, and it'll give you a little more room with the video looking in there. This is a custom wrench that we made to fit around the hot end, the rubber part, of the extruder and you can find this file in our support section on our website. Okay, let's take a, cl a closer look inside the machine. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is lower the uh, bed down so we have more room to work with. We'll go in here. You're gonna need to home in on the Z. Uh, it's already there. And then you're gonna need to drop it down. Okay, at this point, what we're going to do is disengage all our motors. You're going to be able to move the extruder around. We're going to get it somewhere in the center. I'm going to disconnect the fan assembly. Now, you shouldn't have it heated up at this time because if it's heated up, the fan's going to be running. Anytime it's above 80 degrees Celsius, the fan kicks in automatically. You can't turn it off. Later in this process, we're going to leave the machine running and heat it up to remove the nozzle, and you're going to have to use gloves at that point in time. Uh, before then though, we're just going to take the fan off. If you feel like you need to use gloves just to be extra safe, I uh, definitely recommend it. The fan's easy to take off. You just have these two bolts on top. You use an Allen wrench, one that came with your Allen wrench set on the CraftBot. You're just going to come in here, unscrew, not all the way, don't take, the, don't take them out, but just loosen it up. Once you do this, this top's going to pop right off. Underneath you have your connector and you're going to be able to come in here and just pull it right out. Take this and put it in a safe place. At this point we're going to heat the hot end up uh, depending on what filament you have. If you're using PLA we're going to heat up to at least 175 and if you have ABS we're going to crank it way up there to 250. So we're just going to come in. I have it preset for 175 PLA and it's heating up right now. And now we just have to wait. Okay, we've heated the hot end up to 170 degrees Celsius because we're using PLA. And we've downloaded and printed our wrench from our support section. We have our gloves on for safety. And we're going to put this up on the hot end. The reason being is because the wires in the back of the hot end that go to the heater and the temp sensor uh, run from the back and they can't be bent at all. If you turn the hot end at all with those wires connected, you will rip them out and you will be in a world of pain. It'll be, it'll be a real pain to replace that. If you do that, don't worry, but you're gonna need to replace the whole set. But this wrench or a wrench you have at home uh, will secure this in place. We recommend that you use the printed one because it fits a lot better. Okay, we have that on and the, the Number one thing you want to stay focused on is keeping this straight forward so that the hot end doesn't turn at all. The only thing we want to turn is the nozzle. Now we can come in here. We have an eight millimeter nozzle and we have another wrench that fits. Let's focus on keeping this tight. I'm going to put my other hand around top just so you can see with the camera. And righty tighty lefty loosey. Make sure that it's not spinning at all. I'm going to turn the nozzle. And because it's hot, I don't want to touch it. I just want to keep that wrench going with it. Always making sure it's, I got some gloves on, but you probably don't want to do that. You just want to use the wrench. Okay, we have the nozzle off. I'm gonna straighten this back up. I'm gonna grab a new nozzle. 
Okay, I have a new nozzle and you only have a few seconds because it's hot to get it in there. So you want to get it positioned and screw it in right away. And watch out, it's super hot. And once you get it in a little bit, before it gets hot, get your hands off of there and tighten it with the wrench. Always keep in mind to keep that straight. Okay, we got it. And we're gonna wanna tighten it up a little bit so the brass grips a little better and it's taunt. Okay, there we go, it's very good. After you replace the nozzle, you wanna make sure to turn the heat off on the hot end and let it cool down for about 10 minutes until it's absolutely cold. At this point, you can put your fan assembly back on. You just slide the cable right in the slot and then you're gonna come around here, tuck that back, slide that on the holder, take your Allen wrench and tighten up. Don't tighten too much, just to get it on there, that's fine. And after you've done that, you have successfully replaced the nozzles. Congratulations.